Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Chewbacca figure for the Vintage Collection. Hey there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and today as mentioned in the intro we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Chewbacca figure. He is part of the Vintage Collection and as you can see he is on the Star Wars Chase card. So this is one of the figures that we have been waiting for for a very long time. Obviously, we've had plenty of Chewbacca's in the in the past, but we've never had him on the official Star Wars chase card. Now, as you may know that we have had the Chewbacca before on a vintage style card, but it was this one here. So this was part of the VOTC, the Vintage Original Trilogy. And as you can see, they did use the original Star Wars image, but they put him on, on a Return of the Jedi card. And also this figure is slightly different as well. So this looks like the Return of the Jedi Chewie there with his with this hair parting as you can see. I think this was released actually in 2004 so it's it's nice to finally have this because obviously if you've been collecting the vintage collection you would have been wondering where the original Chewbacca was on the original Star Wars chase card. So here it is. So let's have a quick look at the card. Now this particular card back obviously will hold a lot of nostalgia for many many Star Wars fans and people that were around back in the day of say 1978 I want to say where you would have probably been able to get one of these particular Star Wars cards. And obviously Chewbacca being one of the main characters and it's it's just one of those images that screams Star Wars for me. Absolutely lovely. We can see there the name pill Chewbacca. We've got the lovely Star Wars chase, the original sort of image of Luke and Leia there that they use. Kenner at the bottom. And there he is standing in his bubble. And obviously we did have some issue with the glam shots that we received for the Chewbacca where they did have the wrong figure inside. But as you can see, I can confirm that it is the proper New Hope or Star Wars Chewbacca. He is number 141 on the back of the card. And as you can see there, we do have the other figures as part of the wave and just a random yak face there. Vintage Collection logo there, Disney and Hasbro at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at this figure. I'm going to get him out of the box and we're also going to compare him to the Black Series version, which I'm pretty sure this figure is based on. I can see already that the paint job has been improved. So let's take a look at the figure. OK, then. So here we have the figure out of the pack. I'll let you just have a good look at him now. So first off, I can say that it is, in actual fact, definitely a repack from the Black Series, except for the fact that they've obviously given him a new paint job, which I will show you in a minute. The paint job is a vast improvement on that figure. But we'll just have a go around. So we can see there, we've got some nice paintwork weathering on his satchel, which is, again, different to his previous satchel. So we'll have a look at that again in a second. But obviously his bandolier there, pretty much standard, as we've seen before. <laughs> But as I say, we knew we were getting a repack of this figure. It was just basically the chance to get him on that Star Wars chase card. But still, I think they've done a pretty good job. It's a good looking Chewy. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just get the Black Series one out now so we can show you the difference in paint job. OK, so here's a direct comparison. And as you can see, this one is a lot. The old Black Series version is a lot more lighter. His fur all around his head, all around his body is a lot lighter. And the thing that I never really liked about this figure was the sort of legs on here. As you can see, it, you know, that whole piece, that whole center piece there is a completely different color to the rest of the figure. So it always seemed a bit weird. They've actually rectified that on there and they've kept it all the same color. And they've actually just done some nice paint apps to give him the different sort of colors in his fur. You have a good look at those two like that. So as you can see, I was saying about the weathering on his satchel. So on the new one, he's got like a black satchel with some paint applications to make it look weathered and make it more leather looking. Whereas this one is just your straight brown piece of plastic. So improvements all round, I do feel. Not quite sure about the new paint apps here. That's It looks a bit too blondy or almost yellow paint that they've dumped on there. I think they could have gone for more of like a brown, a lighter brown colour. So I'm not really too sure about that. Almost looks almost like he spilt his spaghetti down himself. OK, 
Okay, so that's enough of the Black Series one. Let's carry on and have a look at this figure. So as you can see, he does have his bow caster there. It did come in two pieces. You do have to put that bit in there, and I do find that it is a little bit loose, but that's not too much of a problem once it's in. And if we compare the Bowcaster to the one that came in the Black Series version, you can see that this one is just a pretty much just a solid gray piece of plastic. So again, they've gone with the black, which I which I much prefer. They could have done a bit more weathering on there, but you know, you can't have everything, but I do prefer the black to the sort of silvery gray of that one. In terms of articulation of Chewbacca, so obviously the head doesn't move much at all because he's got all that hard plastic fur there, so you don't have too much range with that, but that's all right. His arms are on a ball hinge, they go all the way round. He has elbow joints which also spin. He has wrist spinning artic articulation, but no hinge, they're actually just plugged in. And again with the other arm. He does have some crunching going on on his lower torso, which is quite nice, so he gets lots of movement there. He's got the 5PO style legs, so they just go up like that. No, no doing the splits with this figure, but he does have knee joints and he does have some quite nice articulation on the foot. So they spin and as you can see, there's a hinge there. So they go up and down like that. So nice upgrade to Chewbacca, most certainly in my opinion, but I feel that it is mainly all about the card back for this particular figure. And what interested me about the images of these figures as well before I go, is that on this figure, he doesn't have that uh, piece for the, of the bow caster that goes across there, like the crossbow part. For some reason, it's a bit odd. You can see there's nothing there. Whereas on this image, you can clearly see it. Obviously, this is a much clearer image than this one. So they've improved that. This one's got like a yellow, yellow tinge to it. This one's a lot more clear. So I just thought that was quite interesting. They haven't done anything else to the figure. They haven't even, like made him taller or anything like that. He does look pretty tall inside that card, but if we just put him up against Han Solo here in his Stormtrooper outfit, but as you can see there, he is a clear sort of foot taller than Han Solo, which is great because that means they're in scale. Okay then guys, that's it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Drop a like down below if you like this figure. And we shall see you on the next one.